दईसर मीरा बांदे मेट्रो कॉरिडोर और मुंबई मेट्रो लाइन नाइन a 10.3 km extension of Mumbai Metro Red Line which will benefit lakhs of people every day once open the travel time between Meera Bhaiyanda to airport will gradually reduce from 3 hours to just 55 minutes in the last episode we have seen how the Meera Bhaiyanda metro is being built between Overy Pada connection and Meera Gaon over the Western Express highway We also discuss how MMRD is building a massive interchange station in Daisar East to ensure seamless connectivity between red and yellow lines and vice versa. In this second episode of Mumbai's unique metro, we will see the progress of the 4.5 km section of Meera Bhaiyanda Metro over the Meera Bhaiyanda Road between Meera Gaon and Golden Nest, where we will see the progress of both viaduct as well as three metro stations at Kashi Gaon, Sai Baba Nagar. and golden nest and apart from that we will also see the progress of the city's first double decker corridor which is been built over the meera bandar road so without wasting our time let's just begin just after leaving meera gaon metro station metro viaduct turns left to leave the western express highway to enter meera bandar road to reach meera road Here, MMRD faces a challenge to construct piers for the viaduct to turn left towards the Meera Road. This is because the construction of this turnout involves the relocation of an iconic statue of Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj, which also represents the main gateway of the twin city of Meera Road and Bhaiyanar. Some political leaders and residents have even opposed this move and requested the MMRD to make some changes that the metro viaduct should be built without relocating the statue. So MMRD has decided to redesign the garden around the statue to make a place for the pier for the metro. As per research, we think that the metro viaduct will bend towards left, narrowly passing through residential buildings and shops, and then it will be able to enter the Meera Bhaiyanda Road. Just after turning left towards Meera Road, you will see a long stretch of the median till Kashi Gaon Metro Station has been barricaded. It's sad to see that there has been no progress in this section since last year due to some unknown reasons. Last year we saw that J Kumar was doing piling work on this section, but I wonder what happened to them as they literally abandoned the section between Kashi Gaon Metro Station and Kashi Meera due to some unknown reasons. I hope that they will resume this work on this section as soon as possible. The Kashi Gaon Metro Station has been built over the Meera Bhaiyanda Road just beside the brand factory outlet where the Meera Gaon Road meets the Meera Bhaiyanda Road. As per research, many residential and commercial areas like Pleasant Park, Arcade Art Complex, GCC Club and Porter International School will get an access to Kashi Gaon Metro Station. Well, it's good to see that the work on Kashi Gaon Metro Station has made a significant progress so far. By the time we shoot this video all 12 station piers have been erected whereas all 12 concourse segments has been launched and 10 out of 12 platform pier caps have been installed at Kashi Gaon metro station however there are still yet to be launched the last two platform piers at the end of the two piers which might also be complete very soon the construction of the Kashi Gaon metro station was never been so easy as MMRDA had to close the two lanes of Meera Bhaiyanda road for the time being to install the concourse segment of the station and since the road is the main gateway of Meera Bhaiyanda the road often get congested with traffic jams but despite all of these hurdles the J Kumar Infra projects have almost complete the main structure of the station within no time and as the main structure is now ready the work on concourse will soon start on the station At the same time, J Kumar have also started work on one of the entry exit point for the Kashi Gaon Metro Station. Once complete, the Kashi Gaon Metro Station is expected to handle at least 12 to 15,000 passengers per hour during the peak hours, and it will be a great relief for the residents of Kashi Gaon and Pleasant Park to reach their school and offices within 10 to 20 minutes. The Meera Bhaiyanda Metro will be one of the most unique metro that has been built under the Mumbai Metro project because unlike the other metro lines this line will feature a double decker corridor which is one of its kind In this concept a four lane flyover will be built at the first level and the metro viaduct will be built at the second level Initially it was decided to build only the metro viaduct 
But later on, MMRDA decided to include a flyover to decongest the important crossings over the Mirabinder Road. Although lots of people say that Mirabinder Metro is the first double decker metro of the city. But I'm really sorry to say that in reality it's actually not. The truth is that the title of the first double decker corridor of Mumbai Metro was the Mumbai Metro Pink Line, where a 3.5 km section of the line will be a double decker from Adarsh Nagar Interchange Station till Sham Nagar. There will be three flyovers which will be built as a double decker section of the Meera Bainte Metro. Each will have a range of minimum 750 meters and goes up till 1.5 kilometers. This double decker concept not only saves money but also saves time and space. Just after Kashigaon Metro Station, the first flyover of the double decker corridor starts, where you can clearly see that the piers for the double decker corridors are slightly different from the regular piers. First, the bottom one was being casted as a square-shaped piers, and then they have casted hammer-ed pier caps to launch the flyover segment to launch the eye girders for the flyover, and then circular-shaped piers were being casted for the metro viaduct. Just beside the GCC Club intersection near Hatkesh, the pier casting work for the double decker corridor is in full swing, where another pier will soon be erected just beside the intersection to fill the gap. From here the installation work of the flyover segment for the two double decker piers are underway. Here MMRDA is using balance cantilever method to launch these segments. In this method they insert some cables inside the flyover segment to cantilever the structure to build the flyover. Once segments are completely launched the temporary support underneath will be removed to restore the flow of traffic. As the Metro Vardak approaches Silver Park intersection, MMRDA faces another challenge of the Meera Bandar Metro, which is shifting of the high voltage transmission line which supply electricity to the villages of Gorai, Uttan and Eselwal theme park etc. Here, MMRDA uses a unique method to set up a new transmission towers by using the monopile system. In this method, the entire structure has been built and has a support only through one single pile. This concept is completely different from normal piling method where at least 4 to 5 piles were been required to cast just a single pier. This section of Meera Bandar Metro near the Silver Park was left untouched since 2 years. But now the work is going on at a rapid pace. Just after the Silver Park intersection, the first flyover of the double decker corridor ends and then it continues to follow the Meera Bandar road as a normal viaduct. The Sai Baba Nagar Metro station has been built over the Meera Bandar Road just beside the Indian Oil Gas Station near the Sundar Nagar bus stop. The progress of Sai Baba Nagar Metro station is almost very similar to Kashigaon where 12 piers, 12 concourse segments and 10 platform pier caps have been erected for the station so far. It is the only metro station of Meera Bandar Metro where the concourse work has actually been started. By the time we shoot this video at least 7 T-shaped girders were being launched as a base of the concourse and by the time we upload this video half of the concourse of the station will be complete out of the 8 metro stations Sai Baba Nagar is the most progress metro station of the Meera Bandar Metro once complete the Sai Baba Nagar metro station is expected to handle at least 25 to 30000 passengers per hour during the peak hours as the station will connect core residential areas like Silver Park, Jangir Complex, Gokul Village, Shanti Nagar, Vijay Park, as well as parts of Kanakya Complex, will get an access through Sai Baba Nagar Metro Station. Sai Baba Nagar Metro Station may also provide interchange facility with the Meera Road Railway Station of the Western Railways. Now, since the Meera Road Railway Station is almost 1.5 kilometers away from the metro station, commuters might use shuttle buses or autos to reach their destination. Due to its massive weight of viaduct and narrow road, it is impossible to use the normal cranes to launch the girders. So J Kumar Infra Projects have decided to use the unique method. They have deployed two giant humongous straddle carriers to launch the girders over the Meera Bandar road. These straddle carriers were initially deployed on Pink Line, but later on they decided to deploy on Meera Bandar Metro as it will be much easier for them to build the viaduct on a straight road with no obstacle. These straddle carriers became active by November 2021 and then they have started launching girders from November 
where they have completed four spans of 28 meter long U-shaped girders near Sai Baba Nagar Metro Station. These straddle carriers make launching of these girders easier compared to normal cranes. You might have observed that the height of the Sai Baba Nagar Metro Station is a bit taller than other metro stations. This is because just after Sai Baba Nagar Metro Station, the second flyover of the double taker corridor begins, which will bypass the SK Stone and Beverly Park crossing. At least 95% work on installing flyover segment has been complete for the second double taker flyover. Near Beverly Park crossing beside the McDonald's outlet, Jay Kumar have started launching eye girders for the flyover and two U-shaped girders has been launched over the flyover. This also show a glimpse that how the double taker corridor looks like after completion. As of now, only two span of flyover is now complete and they are continuing heading towards the SK Stone. Just after that, the work on remaining two piers for the second double taker corridor is in full swing. Out of which, one pier has been processed to be prepared whereas the second one is going through pile cap stage. After crossing Beverly Park intersection, the second flyover at the first deck ends and the height of the metro also comes down. At the end of the second flyover, MMRDA placed three U-shaped girders at the site so that they can immediately be launched once the pier caps are ready to take the girders. Near Shivar Garden intersection, the viaduct work of Meera Bandar Metro has progressed at a good pace. At least 400 meter viaduct has been complete for the metro from Shivar Garden to Bharat Petroleum Gas Station. This section is the lowest point of the Meera Bandar Metro where the viaduct has been built at a height of 7 to 8 meters from the street level. After crossing the gas station, you can clearly see an incline where the metro once again climb out. This is because after crossing the gas station, the third and the last flyover of the double taker corridor begins. This flyover will go up till Binder East which bypass the heavy congested Golden Nest Circle. As we approach Deepak Hospital crossing, some double taker piers are now partially complete. Between these unfinished piers, one tall pier has been fully casted and MMRDA has started installing temporary support to launch the flyover segment. The Meditya Nagar or Golden Nest Metro Station has been built over the Meera Bandar Road near the Golden Nest Circle. Several residential and education areas like Meditya Nagar, Deepak Hospital, 7th Square Academy School as well as parts of Bandar East will get an access to Golden Nest Metro Station. The most interesting part of the metro station is that unlike the normal metro station which has two floors, the Golden Nest Metro Station will have three floors from surface to the platform level. The first level will have a flyover which goes from Bharat Petroleum Gas Station to Binder East. Whereas the second level will hold the concourse of the station where you will see the ticket counters, AFC gates etc. And the third level will hold the platforms of the station. There are only two metro stations in Mumbai Metro Network which has the similar three level station concept. One at Golden Nest Station of the Red Line and another at Adash Nagar Interchange Station of the Pink Line. The Golden Nest Metro Station will be the tallest metro stations of Meera Bandar Metro where the platforms will be built at a height of 18 to 20 meters from the street level. Now due to its complex design, the construction of Golden Nest Metro Station is lower than the other metro stations. By the time of shooting this video, the construction of all 12 station piers are progressing very rapidly. Meanwhile, 11 out of 12 flyover segment has been launched for the station. At the same time, J. Kumar have started installing temporary support to launch the concourse segment for the station. Due to its massive height, J. Kumar have decided to use the straddle carriers to launch the segment for the station. And by the time we upload this video, at least two pairs of concourse segment has been launched for the station. Once open, the Golden Nest Metro station is expected to handle at least 27 to 30,000 passengers per hour during the peak hours. As the areas which I have mentioned before which will provide connectivity to the metro station are usually far away from both Meera Road and Binder Railway stations. So metro will be a blessing for those residents as they will be able to save time and money to travel from their houses to their offices in Mumbai. In the third or the last episode of the series, we will see how the Metro Viaduct has been built 
between Golden Nest and Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Stadium. Apart from that, we will also discuss about the car shed of the line which is facing many problems. If you really appreciate us by making such ground report videos like this, like and share the video and please consider subscribing to our channel and have a nice day.